You know, regardless of what our officers are faced with when they approach a vehicle, they have a moral and ethical obligation to the community and to their profession to maintain their professionalism. As a result, Officer Roundtree has been placed on administrative duties. You can't give me the right to be a human being. I'm born with that right. Now you can keep me from having that if you've got all the policemen and all the jobs on your side. This video comes to us from Bozeman, Montana. In the video, Montana State University police have just threatened violence against this woman just trying to get to a doctor's appointment. As a result of their threat, she has pulled her transportation over to the side of the road. Personally, I think this woman's very smart for turning on her phone to record this interaction. It's her personal safety that is at risk when interacting with these order followers. I don't agree it's because she's black. I think it's because she is interacting with one of these blue line gang members who's trained their lives are more important than ours. The race thing to me is more about socioeconomic status than race, but that's a topic for another video. The key to remember here is when interacting with order followers, civilians are the ones at risk. The numbers don't lie. Cops may be taught that they are at risk all the time, which is how the sheeple justify their unjust use of force over and over. But the thing is, anyone willing to take an honest look at the numbers can see this is pure propaganda. In 2019, including all line of duty deaths, which includes car accidents, heart attacks, and any way an officer finds his or her untimely death while on duty, citizens were seven times more likely to die as a result of any interaction with law enforcement than the Leos themselves. Yet all we hear about is how another unarmed citizen has been killed because of the fear of officer safety. In fact, I just posted a video last week highlighting one of these exact scenarios here in Spokane County. Go check it out by using the links to it and all of my sources in the description below. Before you do, hit the like button, share this video on all your social media, subscribe, and leave me a comment with your thoughts on this interaction. The last thing I want to say is regarding what the chief of the MSU police says. He says they have an ethical and moral obligation to maintain high professional standards. I'd argue they have an obligation to be professional because it's the job stolen money is used to pay them for. In the private sector, if you don't act professional in your job, you won't have it for long. I guess it's those type of people that snag up these public sector jobs. They don't have to be professional with us. We're servants to this system. They'll just steal more and more money if they need to. Also, how can someone who regularly threatens to use force torture and confinement to a cage on others who haven't hurt anyone else, damaged or stolen anyone else's property, or defrauded anyone, display any kind of ethics or morals. Was it ethics that stopped order followers in states where pot is legal from kidnapping and extorting and caging people that were found to have any amount of flour that comes from a plant any of us can grow in our own houses? I think not. The use, ownership, and growing of a pot plant was no more or less ethical the day before it was deemed legal on pieces of paper by our masters than it was the day after that. Yet order followers changed their stance on how they treat people who have these flowers or plants. Suddenly, you don't need to be thrown in a cage anymore if you happen to have one of those flowers on you. People, it's time we all recognize our confirmation bias. Cops are not your friends. Officer Falcos, he said that I was going 48 miles per hour in a 35 and that is absolutely not true because I saw him and I sped right through so I told him I said I was going a little bit above 38 I mean a little bit above 35 he says on his tracker that I was going 50 miles per hour so for my safety I am recording this because I have seen so many Black people get shot for something, so my hands are on the wheel. I'm not asking for anything. Here is, if you need anything, I am not resisting or doing anything. I'm going to be 100% cooperative because I'm on my way <laughs> and I'm not rushing. I have a doctor's appointment because I hurt my ankle yesterday. So, okay. are, are you done? Yes. Can I start talking? Okay. Here's the deal. I've been doing this for quite a while. Yes, I've sir. I've made probably close to 1,500 traffic stops, hundreds of those for speed. Absolutely. Okay. I'm not accusing you of anything serious. I'm not saying you, you 
hit somebody with your car. I'm not saying you blew a red light. I'm, I'm saying you sped. Okay? We're kind of on the same page there, because what you're telling me is you were a little bit over the speed limit. I was going 30. Regardless of what it was. Mm -hmm. No, 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 sir. No, sir, sir, sir. It, it, is, it is regardless. Because most cops will not stop you for going five miles over the speed limit. Most cops won't. Honestly. Okay. Most cops will not stop and you. And that's not why I stopped you. I okay. stopped you for a violation that I observed, which was different than what you're claiming. Okay. Well, you just said a little over. Can, like I said, I, it doesn't matter. No, sir, sir, sir. I, I want you to understand that your words mean everything. You're saying a mm, little over. No, no. I was going 38. That's exactly what I was going for. It was nothing more. I wasn't frantic. I wasn't anything. Can you stop, please? Absolutely, sir. Here's my hand. Don't worry, sir. I'm not resisting arrest. I don't want your gun to be pulled. I am a black woman in Bozeman, Montana, that went three miles over 35. What, what did you stop for? I'm Officer Roundtree, MSU Police. Hello. What was the reasoning for the stop? Officer, I forget his name, he says that I was going 50 miles per hour in a 35. It sounds like it was a 48 and a 35. You just it, need your license registration and insurance. Absolutely. Please. Here it is. Thank you, ma'am. May I have your name, too, please? It's Officer Roundtree. Sure. I'm handing my license and registration freely, and they have another cop on the side here. Just want everybody to know, so there's three cops for a black woman. You must not come from here, huh? No, I'm from here. Like I said, I've been here for 10 years, but this is my third, or excuse me, my second stop. And for being for, you no, feel for like being you pulled over, break the law at all, ma'am. I absolutely, I'm just wondering, ma'am. Is it ma seems like you're playing a game here? Ma'am, I, cool? ma'am, ma'am. You're playing a game. It's not cool. okay. Here, listen. Let me go ahead and tell you something, okay? Black people are being killed all over the United States okay. by white officers, okay? okay? I am not playing a game you with are. you. No, I'm not. You are. You're trying to get out of the citation. I am not trying, trying to, get to get out of the citation. If I was speeding, then cool. you can guarantee that I would have been, oh, okay, you know, officer, like that? I said. You know what I mean? So, no. People okay. are getting killed all over. Okay. You're playing a game, and it's not cool. I am Nobody's not gonna playing like a game with Nobody you. Wants I am to not. Deal with it. Nobody. Do you it's think? It's all on video. Okay. It's all on audio. No, listen, listen. I'm not talking doing, to you. Okay, well, listen. then goodbye then. Okay. No, That's you just said you were done talking to me. Be done talking. Just trying to get out of a citation. I am not trying to get out of a citation. I want to contest it if he is going to write it. Do you understand? And leave me alone. Don't talk to me either. So, Rochelle, I'm back with you now. So. Go ahead. And actually, I'm going to wait for my dispatch real quick. Hi, Kathy. Thanks. Crystal, here's the deal. My name Driver is Crystal, one. sir. Crystal? Crystal. Okay. It's Crystal. I'm sorry. Um, I see that now. Um, I'm driving along, I activate my radar, I see a vehicle, well, actually, let me start over. I'm driving along, I see a vehicle that appears to be exceeding the speed limit, I activate my radar, the tone and the readout match exactly what I'm seeing, I begin to turn around on that vehicle, even after you were up, or even before you were up to me. Did you see me kind of move over to the right there as you were coming up my way? Sir, if you were going to write me an infraction, please, can I do this because I have a doctor's appointment. I am can you answer in, my question? Sir, I am not going to answer anything else. Sure. All right. Okay. So I, I, I just want to say one thing. Ma'am, 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 ma I want to, no, 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 no. I, I want to talk to this officer, please, okay? You are the Montana State Police. Like I said, I want to talk to him. You said you were done talking to me, so step. Stop. Step it. Playing game. Move. I am not playing you games. You are not getting me. Leave me alone, okay? You, you just said that you were done talking to me. Like I said, 
And from what I understand, police officers are supposed to work for me because we pay your salary, don't we? Like I said, and you sitting here talking to me. I'm playing a game. You are. No, I'm not. Absolutely. You said to leave you alone. You said you were going to leave me alone. Crystal. Leave me alone. Crystal. Okay. Please don't play this game again with another. Leave me alone. Crystal. Say what you gotta say. Okay. Crystal. <laughs> you are on camera as well, my Good. Dear. Good. Every second. Good. Okay? Stop. No, you, you stop. You are trying to intimidate you, me. I am not trying to intimidate you. You are the one who At said... At point, I'm thinking that maybe we need to go down that road. If we need exactly to go down that road, doing. I'm not doing anything you to you, officer. You are trying to intimidate I am not officer. trying to intimidate a yes, police officer. Are. And I can guarantee you, I will you have are. the NAACP all over oh, this, ma'am. I ma you will. I sure have will. my last name? I don't care. I don't care what you are. Okay. You can stop anytime now. Then walk away like you said you were. I am letting this officer finish up what he's doing. Okay, well, I don't really feel comfortable with you right here. I'm not officer, about can that. you tell her, Officer Roundtree, to leave me alone, please? I, I'm good. Can you finish it up? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so um, what I want to make really clear to you, and I'm telling, have I been remotely impolite to you? This no, whole time? sir. Okay. I had no idea who you were before I turned around on you. I started to turn around not knowing whether you were a white male, a black female, anything, okay? I had no idea. Sir, your wordage has been possibly, probably, remotely, no, it wasn't exactly this and kind of say, and this kind of stuff works. This is how Wait, it all goes. You'd like down. an exact answer? Sure. I had exactly no idea who you were before I turned around. Sir, I'm not talking about who I was. I'm talking about. Well, that's the it first was accusation going... you said. So, look, I, what I'm trying to tell you is none of this is about race. My job is, well, I have a lot of parts of my job. One of them is traffic safety. I observed a traffic violation, turned around on you, caught up to you, stopped you, and now I'm talking to you here. I've been on, like I said, 1,500-ish traffic stops. Absolutely. This sir. is one of the most unpleasant I've ever had. I'm still not planning. No, no, trust me, sir. This is this is really unpleasant for me. And I, I mean, honestly. That. What I, what I'm, oh my God. What I'm, what I'm did you tell me to go back where I came no, from? No, didn't. Then what did she say? She said this is not where you came from. Oh my gosh. Where would I? Go? Oh my gosh. I this is no, no. This is perfect. This is not where I came from. Okay, like I said, all I can see is a freaking lawsuit for every single one of you, MSU and BPD. And what I'm trying to explain to you is that none of this is motivated by Sir, race. Sir, how, how, okay, exactly this, this is not where I came from. from. What the hell am I supposed I, to take that? I can't answer for Well, you know else. what, like I said, Officer Roundtree seems to think that I'm playing a game after she said that she doesn't want to talk to me and do all this other kind of stuff. So, sir, okay. I have to sit here and say that as a black woman, I am feeling extremely okay. threatened by all three officers, especially Officer Roundtree, who had the nerve and to say, this is not where I came from. I'll answer one more thing for you, and then we can get out of here. So, I asked for another person to come over because obviously you don't feel comfortable around a white man, so I asked for one more person to come. The reason that there's two of them is that we're short on vehicles right now, so there happen to be two in a car. Does that yes. make sense? Yes, sir. We're not usually like that, so I'm not going to give you a ticket today. I wasn't planning on giving you a ticket today. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay? Here's your stuff back for you. Look, I, this doesn't need to be a terrible thing, okay? It's not the end of the world. Do you understand that it's scary, though? And seriously? And I do, and that's why I try to be as nice as I possibly can and explain everything through. Well, Officer Roundtree is not helping cops at all, like I said, so I will be following up with MSU, sir. Like I said, and you're not associated with the university? I am, actually. I you work are? the same agency. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, Do you need I, to speak to a supervisor? Sir? I'm going to get in contact with other people because this is not where I came from. She is going to have to know. She is seriously. See, yes, I will be contacting your supervisors about Officer Roundtree. Sir, yes, you have been professional, and I appreciate that, and I hope that you can understand. But I'm not playing a game, and I'm not doing any of these other things that she's saying that I'm doing. Look, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button and share it with everyone you know. Find us on Twitter, as well as censorship-free platforms like BitChute and Steemit or DTube. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to smile at someone you don't know every day.